you need to knock me up off my feet for that amount of money. Um, the experience was nice, but I don't know. Welcome to Itha, the world's first undersea restaurant located at Conrad Maldives. How was the food? Do I recommend it? And would I go again? Stay tuned to find out. Let's go. All right, y'all. So we are headed to the undersea restaurant. We are so excited. You excited, boo? I am. This, this has been a, a bucket list item for me for a very long time. <laughs> are you sure this is good? Yeah. Is that on the thing? And it says Sunset Grill. And Sunset Grill? Yep. Oh, so this is where they have Sunset Grill and the other thing, right? Yep. Huh. Hello. Hi, good evening. Is this where the undersea restaurant is? This is where you'll be starting the journey. Yes, where's my room number, please? 307. 307. Yes. Mr. Laroy and Miss Croatia. Yes. Mm -hmm. This water is so pretty, so blue. Yeah. Huh. Uh, look over there, but that's where the Morocco is. Where? That building back there. Oh, wow. Y'all see the Morocco back there? It's crazy. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So our first restaurant is Itha Undersea Restaurant. Let's go. Look at this water. I'm telling my shoes here. Oh, inside this. Thank you. Thank you. So once you come up to the lobby on the left hand side, the first store is the washroom. So we'll be going down shortly, 33 steps. Okay. Yeah. And restaurant is highly no smoke restaurant. If you okay. like to smoke, you'll probably be a chef. Okay. Yeah. Yes. You ready to go? Mm -hmm. Super excited. This is the, this is a lot cooler than I thought it was. Gonna be. <laughs> it's pretty nice. No fishies yet, y'all. No, well, but hopefully they're coming. But isn't that so cool? Look, that's pretty. It's super cool. Oh look! Oh my goodness! Oh, that is fish. This is what we came for. Oh. So here is the menu. We have tuna ceviche, caviar on buckwheat, seared quail breast, Maldivian crisp lobster tortellini, sous with black angus tenderloin, pan fried linguine, and for dessert, chocolate tart. So that's the menu. 
case anyone is interested now it does change so keep that in mind and i think we're paying in, how much is today 400 485 something like that we'll get the exact uh price for you on the screen this is the lunch menu because you can also come for lunch and it's a little bit cheaper but as you can see the lunch menu has less options we have our appetizer entree main course and desserts and they do let you know if it has nuts gluten dairy or eggs so excited to show you the main course here in a moment yes thank you I'm sorry, the fish. <laughs> they got me so excited. We saw the one that went by here. So this is sourdough bread with cinnamon. So this should be interesting. Okay, y'all. So Leroy ate all of his bread. As you can see, I still have mine. So, babe, what did you think of the bread? I thought it was pretty good. It's, it has a nice crunch to it. It's not too tough like sourdough is back home. Okay. It's uh, the butter could use a little bit more cinnamon in it, but I can That's taste what I it. Think. I can taste it, but it's subtle. He could taste his cinnamon, I cannot, but that's the cinnamon bread. Oh, there's a shirt. Oh, look at that! They went berserk. Look at that shirt, so cool. They must have put some food out. With avocado and tomato. On top, you have a, a gel which is made out of mango and passion fruit. Above that, you have a panna cotta which is made out of squid ink and lime. On the side, you have a pistachio crumble to go along with it. Please enjoy this course. Thank you. Thank you. This looks really delicious. Uh, so let's see, y'all. This is a tuna ceviche. It's good. I like it. I like tuna though. Leroy doesn't. What do you think about it? It's good. What you think, boo? I'm not a big fan of tuna. This is pretty good. See? He's not a tuna fan and he likes it. Okay, y'all. So this is the caviar on buckwheat. Very interesting looking. Let's see what this baby tastes like. Excuse me. So this is the second course. It's caviar and crispy buckwheat. Uh, the puris at the bottom are some green, with green pea and potato. On top you have some uh, crispy potato and some charred onions to go along with it. For this course, I would suggest you use your fingers when you bite into a dish so that you can feel the different textures it has to offer. Please enjoy this. Thank you. Thank you. 
Not a table. I have to find out. It's about to find out too. That's the turn automatic off the No. Uh, it's not good. What do you think? Mm -mm. Uh oh. What you think, boo? I don't know what he talking about, y'all. I love it. <laughs> so good. Oh my god. Mm. Love it. Really good. Really kind of crunchy. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how to describe it, but I like it. It's onion, potatoes, dill, peas. Okay, y'all, so this is the seared quail dress. Alright, guys, so this is your third course. It's a quail dress uh, with a conflict quail leg. The puree inside is a sweet potato and truffle with some pickled shallot, and the sauce to go along with it is a red wine reduction. Please enjoy this. Thank you. Let's see. Mm. You like it? You do? What does it taste like? Fusion. Oh, okay. See, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. It's dark in here, so the video is dark, but we gonna work it out. So this is the lobster tortellini. Oh, thank you. Hello. So this is your fourth course. You. It's a crispy lobster tortellini. On the bottom, we have a puree of saffron and potato with some charred uh, corn and some crispy leeks with some leek ash to go along with it. Please enjoy this. Thank you. All right, y'all. Let's try this tortellini and see. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. This is really good. I'm gonna get Leroy's opinion. You like it? Leroy likes his, so it's a win. It's pretty good. You like yours? Yeah. How is it? It's pretty good. What does it taste like? It's coconutty, but you know. Oh, thank you. Okay, so I got the. Well, I, think, uh, I think that's the black English, right? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, here, this is his. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta switch. Switch. Go ahead. Okay, so, this is Leroy's Angus. Okay, go ahead and pick up your Angus. I'm pushing my food over here so I can get it on. And what did I get? Oh, some type of fish. The, the Australian fish. Oh, yeah. Australian. Looks delicious. We're about to see. This is a fancy edition. The puree at the bottom are watercress and parsnip with some crispy parsnip on top. On the side, we have some uh, potato and chocolate croquet. The sauce for the beef is the red wine reduction, and for the, beef, uh, and for the fish, it's a lobster juice. Please enjoy this. Thank you. Right. Is that good, babe? Yes. Okay, it's the Australian fish. Let's see. Oh, it's pretty good. What's a little bit different? What's it taste like? Oh, some type of fish. I can't think of what kind right now, but some type of fish that I've had. What makes it different? Just the texture? I see, you never got me on camera asking all these questions. What makes it different? <laughs> it's really warm. I don't normally really have warm fish. Like it. Mm. I like this. So this is dessert. It's a dessert. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. What is it, babe? I just made uh, olive oil cream, roseberry sorbet, uh, sour berries, lime foam, and lavender mushroom. Huh? Did you just say the elves? Alright. Let's see. Uh, please uh, join us to sing a very special song for. 
Mm. Okay. So this is the damage, y'all. <laughs> Cocktail, two dinners, six eighty. So total is eight ninety six oh nine. Okay, so really quick, the final review for the undersea restaurant. So I mean, the food was good but it wasn't great. And for the price we paid, we did expect a little bit more. It is about the experience. So I cut them a little bit of slack, but y'all, I mean, the bill was 702, service charge 10%, which was 70 bucks. Um, taxes, tourist tax, 16%, $123. So the total was $896.09, almost $1,000. You need to knock me up off my feet for that amount of money. Um, the experience was nice, but I don't know. I like the fish and the sharks, but I wasn't just blown away by that either. So what I would suggest, if you can, go during the lunch or the happy hour because the prices are cheaper. Now, you won't get all the courses, but you get the same experience unless you just want to go, you know, for the dinner. Then you're coming out that bag for close to $1,000, and the food was good, but it was, you know, I, I mean, I could have gotten it anywhere. So let's go to the next restaurant.